Well, in Virgo, Sun, Scorpio, Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646 902 5715. When you view this, is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2022 Sun Moon readings. See if they rang true for you or as somebody you know. Uh, first portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, lay out the main cards, take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion, will be the video link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Virgo Sun, Scorpio Moons, forever the workaholic, you never know when to clock out. This isn't to please or impress others, but rather to demonstrate to yourself how productive and what an asset you are. However, it causes you to set an impossible standard for yourself. You prefer a private office or to work after hours because you don't warm up to colleagues easily. While you can be cool as a cucumber, there are times when your emotions can get the best of you. In fact, tiny, the tiniest details might slip through the cracks because of this distraction. This can be very disruptive because you like to have a thorough plan for everything. Most of the things you pursue are based upon some mission, whether it be financial or spiritual. You might want to work tirelessly toward a meticulous project or dedicate yourself to healing others with your abilities. You have the potential to be a great detective or a sly criminal mastermind. You're shrewd, mysterious, perceptive, and intelligent. It's not out of your realm to occasionally use manipulation to get what you want. It's not necessarily dishonest practice. You just know how to make certain things work for your best interest. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgo Sun, Scorpio Moons for the year 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you. January, February, March, we have the Five of Swords in the upright. What do you see for April, May, June? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of my links below in support of my efforts. That's always appreciated. July, August, September, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. What do we have for October, November, December? We have the Fool card in the reverse. Okay. Um, so I feel like there's conflict with somebody in 2023. Um... In January, February, March, this is where I start to see the conflict. I see you and somebody else, or you and a group of people, although I feel it might be somebody else. Um, and it's the fight to be right instead of the fight to be happy. Um, I can't really tell who, who ends up winning. Um, maybe neither of you win. Maybe the two of you kind of come together, have this huge conflict, and the two of you want to win no matter what. Uh, arrogance and pride gets thrown in there, and sabotage, and sneak attack, and manipulation, and all of this, okay? Um, so the two of you are going at it, or you and a group of people, and it's all about defeating, rejecting the other person, so, we, so you can say, haha, I won, okay? Um, I think it might be coming from both of you. I feel as though uh, the two of you collide and that is the nature of the collision. It's not about happiness or working on the connection. It's more about, I want to win over you. I want to, you know, I want to be the, the victor. Now, I see you in... Um, April, May, June, trying to figure out how to go about this. I see you kind of observing the situation, saying, okay, what is my best strategy to beat this person? What is my best strategy to be the winner? What do I need to do? You're putting a lot of thought into it, analyzing things a lot, um, planning, um, checking out details, planning to the point of, you know, being very shrewd, as we mentioned, um, you know, a plan that is a, it could be a sneak attack or something of that regard. But I do see you kind of taking everything in, observing. I mean, th this guy is clearly, um, he's a knight and he's it looks like he's checking out who's, you know, the whole army on the other side uh, to see what their weaknesses are and what they're what he's gonna do or how he's gonna go about it. And that's the sense that I'm kind of getting. Um, you're kind of doing that before you kind of uh, lead your charge, so to speak. Um, my concern is, in July, August, September, and believe it or not, I feel this is you, the King of Wands in reverse. I feel your, your plan 
is to go in and exert power over this person. So I feel as though your approach is an aggressive one. Um, at the very least assertive, but at the very most, I think it's aggressive, uh, hostile, um, like a hostile takeover. Um, I feel as though you um, kind of are, are um, maybe crossing lines you don't need to cross, um, <clears throat> exerting more power than you need to, being more domineering than you need to, um, in an effort to kind of get control over this person or this situation. And the problem is in October, November, December, I see you um, regretting that, okay? I see you feeling like you acted the fool or that you're looking foolish, that you were, you didn't fully realize the consequences of your actions back here, um, that you should have had a better plan um, because I feel as though what's going to happen is it's going to boomerang and it's going to bring some negative energy back to you. So if that's your plan back here, <laughs> and you come upon this, I would seriously rethink your strategy because I almost feel like there's something karmic that's going to happen here um, if you approach this person with malintentions or manipulative intentions or anything of that sort. It could be the other person. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not feeling that. I do feel like it's you. Um, and I do feel like in the beginning of the year, they slighted you in a way and you want to get them back. I'm not going to lie about that either. So that's what you kind of spend your year doing. And if that's how you kind of want to spend your energy, then so be it. But this is just kind of a heads up saying where it can go if you decide to do that. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. But make sure you click on the familiar link below where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2023. Um, and then finally, check out your 2022 sun, moon reading. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below. It's always appreciated. Otherwise, Virgo, Sun, Scorpio, Moon, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica, Gar Veronica Garnett. <laughs> Bye.